essentially what's happening is the New York City Council is trying to give gig workers, not not just uh, delivery people, but like 1099 workers in general, a guaranteed uh, hourly rate. So there's a couple of different proposals right now, and they range anywhere from uh, $33 an hour uh, to $19.96 uh, an hour on the low side. Now, this is to go into effect by 2025. However, it would the companies estimate that this would increase the average order cost for the consumer by $5.18. So the pushback here is that drivers working a 40-hour week could earn $70,000 a year. So I from what I what I was reading at the $33 an hour was for when they're actively on an order. Mhm. Mm the nineteen dollar one is when you're all, like any time you're online, you're going to make a minimum of nineteen dollars an hour. So that was kind of the difference. You know, I think once again, these companies are making the poor customer pay for the hikes of this. Granted, New York City is so expensive to live in. Yeah, um, seventy thousand dollars is nothing in New York City. So yeah. it really will help drivers. So anybody who thinks that, you know, $33 an hour or $19 an hour, you know, is a lot of money. It is. But when you think about the cost of living in New York City, it really... you got to be making $120,000 yeah. a year yeah. to, you know, survive comfortably. Yeah. So uh, there, there's two different numbers that have been thrown out. Like I said, there's the 33 uh, per hour and $19.96 an hour. So I, I, I got to actually kind of disagree with the chat here a little bit. I could actually see this happening. And I don't, I, I don't support this. Uh, I'm just going to get that out of the way now. I do not support this. I do not think that it's ever a good idea to put a floor or a ceiling on driver earnings. And that's essentially what they're trying to do. So uh, this is going to come with some kind of compromise for the drivers, right? It, they're, they're not just going to all of a sudden start seeing twice as much money and not have anything new uh, that's expected of them. So, yeah, I mean, like, look, $33 an hour. And, and by the way, this is before tips. So, you know, that that's, that's a lot of money, Kim. Like, assuming, like, let's say you could do two orders an hour and each customer was tipping uh, four bucks, right? So, uh, what, 34, that's 38, uh, $42 an hour, potentially. That is, to me, a, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a lot of money. Um, but once again, yeah. when you think of cost of living, I don't know, I don't know whether it, I don't even know whether that's enough for a New York City person living in New York City, surviving and paying yeah. taxes and paying meals and, you know, stuff like that, um, you know, where was it? Um, yes, they will probably be taxed on. I think so, someone said they'll, they'll be taxed on it. They probably will be taxed on it. And then, you know, whether they claim the tips, I don't know how, honestly how that would work. But I think it's just another way of legislation, you know, stepping in and, you know, making us employees just like, you know, it's it, it, some form of it will be coming down the pike. Yeah. So again, you know, and the customers are saying the customers who chimed in on this are saying that they're not going to pay it. They're just going to go get their own food. And ultimately, like that's a concern too. Is this going to kill the delivery industry in New York City if this goes through? I don't think it's going to kill it um, because the, as long as there's people and this is going to come out wrong, but I'm just going to say it anyway. As long as there's lazy people out mm -hmm. there that don't want to leave their comforts of their own home and want food delivered to them, they're going to yeah. pay whatever they are going to pay in order yeah. to get their food to be delivered to them. So Do but, but there is like if you think about it, like say you want to order a, a Big Mac meal, and that's like mm -hmm. really so. It's even well, in New York City, it's probably like fifteen ninety nine. But order a Big Mac meal say $15, you do, do you get all the fees out of there. So a $5 delivery fee, you're now up to $20. Mm -hmm. You tip your driver 
even if it's four or five dollars, now you're up to twenty-five dollars. That doesn't include any other fees that any of these companies do. So you're talking almost thirty dollars <laughs> for a Big Mac meal. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's going to get expensive. Thank you for checking out a clip of Money Hungry hosted by Zach from Zach Drives Fast and myself, Kim, from Kim's Side Money Plans. Join us every Wednesday live at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. If you are new to the Rideshare Guy, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and make sure that that bell is turned on so you know when the latest videos come out. If you're looking for the whole seg the whole live, Go check out this one right here. Bye, everyone.